Hello everybody, welcome back to youtube.com slash geeklet for another Let's Install. Today, Watch Dogs 2 on the Xbox Series X. Note, it was recently added to Xbox Game Pass, and by recently I mean just in the last two days. So it's my pleasure today to do the Let's Install for it for everybody first going hands-on with Watch Dogs 2. I think the big thing of note for Watch Dogs 2 is that it was one of the first games to really start leaning into the Fortnite trend that's just crazy and pervasive in video games these days, but I nominate Watch Dogs 2 as the first one to start taking a leap off that platform post Fortnite. Fortnite's example, excuse me. Uh, you can see here coming in now, I should note that the, the top game, the base game that's available through Game Pass is 33.17 gigabytes. However, of note is I purchased this, uh, I'm not sure if it was at launch, it might have been on sale. I believe uh, it was like the gold or complete edition in one of, you know, the Christmas Ubisoft sales that you see on the Microsoft store. So um, it, there's a lot of DLC here that isn't included in the Game Pass version. All these extra packs you won't have if you're just getting the Game Pass version. It will just be this top one at 33.17 gigabytes. I'll note, uh, I'll note, however, that all the other ones below it are very small. They'll be, you know, sub a gig each, I expect, or Maybe there'll be one or two that'll be, you know, two or three gigs possibly, but I'm not even sure if there are sort of missions available in there. We'll obviously see that as we install here. The other thing I need to let you know about is the Gaming Enforcement Agency. That is our weekly video gaming podcast right here on Geek Aloud. It's myself, Unky Dunky, and Bully talking about all the games we've played this week. It'll, of course, include Watch Dogs 2, as I just said, recently added to Game Pass. Uh, hopefully you're checking us out as well. Let me know in the comments below, or alternatively, you can come along to Gaming Enforcement Agency. We do a live uh, right here on Geek Aloud, but you can contribute to us in the chat as we go along and then segment four of the show we get to all those comments and we uh, round them up so by all means check out the gaming enforcement agency and contribute to it via the youtube chat that'd be great the other thing that'd be great is if you're noticing the screens flashing behind me or suddenly my audio falls out of sync with the camera that's because the gig Aloud studio is in desperate need desperate need of funding so I can upgrade some equipment and get us back on track here. Ultimately, the goal is to get back to that 4K PC that was actually a thing of beauty, but what we need from the community is a bit of support. So uh, if you can hit the join button, become a, you know, buck a month subscriber, or if you can just hit the thanks button and just a straight up cash donation of, you know, a buck or two, that'd be fantastic. I can't tell you how much it would mean to me. It would help the uh, Let's Install series and conversely the uh, Gaming Enforcement Agency podcast. Both of those would be directly benefited by your contributions. Please, if you can, kick in a buck. I'd appreciate it a lot. But for now, let's install Watch Dogs 2 right here on Geek Aloud.
installed Watch Dogs 2 plus about 10 DLC packs. What were they about? Uh, call it a gig and a half. Uh, rough estimate there for you. I think approximately a gig and a half. But as I said at the start, that was just the, uh, you know, gold edition or whatever. The extra bonuses that I've paid for, they are not included in the Xbox Game Pass version. It is just the base game. But let's boot it up now. Uh, and check out that main menu. We'll have a look at the graphics slash performance options. You know, is there a 4K60 uh, type mode? Is there motion blur you may wish to disable? Is there any any other options? What in the settings is worth looking at? We'll check that out. And then, of course, we'll bounce out to the Xbox dashboard, plot the particulars of the title, and I can give you a version number and uh, correct and complete install size. As I said, though, we're going to have to knock about a gig and a half, I reckon, off whatever the full install size is for me. As I said, it's the complete edition of installed, so it's everything there. But first, let's have a look at the settings, uh, control schemes, gameplay, online preference, audio, and language display. Now we're talking. What do we got? Uh, safe frame? the borders and the brightness. Okay, absolutely nothing in the settings menu to worry about. So let's bounce on out to the dashboard to get out. And once again, I apologize for all the black flashes on screen. It's my capture card slowly dying. If you can uh, support the channel in any way, throw me a buck or two, that'd really help. If I get enough bucks, throw in me about 300 of them, I think I can get a new capture card. Wouldn't that be exciting? Well, when you think about the exciting new capture card potential, if you decide to join the channel, I can tell you it's version 1.2. 192.0, and that is 34.3 gigabytes. That's right, Bryce Harper.3 gigabytes. Thank you very much for watching another Let's Install here on Geek Aloud. Please come by the channel and check out our weekly gaming podcast. It's a gaming enforcement agency. What else can you do with Geek Aloud? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss. Everything about it. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Old Uncle Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> <G> Donkey. <laughs>